Fish. <laughs> Shoot her in North Cascades. Live action. Live action. Very what can you tell us? <laughs> what can you tell us about this shitter, Dennis? Well, it's one of the funniest ones in the North Cascades, <laughs> and it's right here at Downing Creek. And the door occasionally will not close unless I, you know, so it's quite comfortable. <laughs> Sock Indian Cemetery, pretty neat. Right on the Swell River Road. There's some old, old things. Right here, There's some young people here. But that one over there being Chief, who? Leo Lamar. Wow. Brown? That's a chief right there. But it's gadget. Over there, there's three of them over there. That's pretty neat. 1889 to 1969? Wow. wow. 80 years old. Huh? 80 years old. Well, we have Buck Creek and the Seattle River Road. This right here is the Taj Mahal. Where it, it, they just opened up Buck Creek here just this last summer. And it's been closed up for 12 years. And we've been hiking in. Uh, the, the road was closed at mile post 12 all the way up here to about three mile post about 14 or 15. And we always come to the Taj Mahal. Come on in and take a look. There's no one around. There's no one around. We have our little campfire here. Here's the Taj Mahal. Look at the siding here, it's pretty well built place. <laughs> but it, it's beautiful. And then so we would we would hike back out, this is what we do. Another place we'd go up a little farther up to the ranger station. And I'm gonna show you that, and that's the next stop we'll make. As we go up the Swallow River Road. It's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful area. They uh they might have a little moisture, not bad. And that is Buck Creek flowing real good. That's, that's, that's really cooking. That's neat to say. Good to say. Gotta have it. Okay. Milltown, Ed. Yeah. Milltown. Where? Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here we are. This is Johnny Creek, and that is a wonderful house. We just ran into my buddy Tom down here. He's out here camping for the whole week <laughs> by himself pretty much. And he, uh, I think I ran my shoes. Yeah. This is a real wonderful trail. This is a dandy. A dandy! Yeah. We're on a dandy. Now, uh, this trail right here. <clears throat> we went, we went on this one. It, it, it actually, it, it just opened this trail up. Uh, it was like June or July of this year. Now I've been hiking this trail uh, for. We, we got in here about uh, September of last year, so we we're going through this sucker. One time we went through here. And there was 186, 186 obstacles we went over and under in 13 miles. Magnificent day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I mean, to, to be able to, you know, I mean, to be able to go underneath something. You know, like a, what a 14-year-old, I mean, a 12-year-old kid. How's that? In your, in your. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. So you gotta like doing that crap, you know. Come on. Look at that key right there. Tom is right. Damn it. Un un unharvested forest. This yeah. is incredible. That's what he said. So yeah, this never, 
Never been logged. Yeah. This would be a nice, 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 nice port. All native growth forever. Basically, we're right in the forest. Hey, check out the carpet. Not bad. This is better than walking in one of my house. Wow. Not bad. Huh? We're get, we're going we're gonna do twelve hundred foot elevation gain and 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 maybe a, a mile and a half. So it's gonna be like a big gain. But then it's then it mellows out and we start to make loops like this real nice, just real pleasant for the next four miles and we turn around and come home. We're gonna do ten of the thirteen. We're not gonna go all the way to Bachelor Creek. But we're gonna do go go up to a real neat campsite. Beauty. Sometimes, you know, my eyes are different than other kinds. Of, and I don't know why, but it's the, it's the, the doctor gave me a term, but it's the eyes. Imagination. Tell two lies and call me in the morning. <laughs> I ever tell you that story about the eyeball? The what? The eyeball? No. Work. Well, it was, thank God. Well, it was, it, I had to go to the eye doctor on Friday morning. And the foreman told me Thursday, he said, hey, I'm going to need you Friday, pal. I'm going to be off. You got to be here. I said, Mike, I'm taking this as an 8 o'clock appointment so I can get my butt back to work. He goes, okay. Well, I was at the dentist, I mean, at the eye doctor, and he said, you, you know you got cataracts? And I go, cataracts? He says, yeah, you got, it's not real bad, but I mean, you got it. Go, oh, thank you. So when I left the doctor's office, and the sky was beautiful, sunny out, and it was Friday. I thought to myself, self, is this a three-day weekend or what? So I contemplated driving home, and on the car home, and this came out of my voice. I called in and talked to the foreman. Left the message there saying that I had, they put some drops in my eyes, and my eyes swelled up. It was one about the size of a grapefruit. And uh, uh, the doctor said it'd be at best probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm real sorry, but that's where I'm at. Doctor that. I get a call from the supervisor. Judge, what do you mean, Doc? What do you mean, dots? I've had those dots in my eyes as you come to work. And I said, well, you're way better. What are you sitting down? I said, do you have cataracts? He said, no. See, the, the, the dots that you had in your eyes aren't the same dots I had in mine. And, it, and the, I know that the, 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 uh, the size of a grapefruit, I was just trying to make some humor out of a sad situation. <laughs> God, he said, well, tell the family, have, have a good weekend. It was all kind of real sorry, Dennis. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Monday or Tuesday at best. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was a, so that didn't take long. About, about a week later, he had me in his office. He said, you fucker. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> he chewed my ass out good. I said, well, God, how did it? Well, I told somebody. <laughs> You gotta remember, I was the shop steward. <laughs> you know. You have problems. <laughs> well, I'm taking care of everyone's problems. I just have one minor institution. <laughs> and I never did that. I, I wasn't, I was always 
punctual hold. Punctual, that's a good word. Punctual. <laughs> yeah. You know what's on this one? Grouse. But there is a rooster on this trail. And we might see him. He's all, he's all purple with yellow jaws here. He's magnificent. And, he, and they stay generally, uh, they have their own little area. That's their area. And, uh, That kind of reminds me it was like right in this area. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you hear them though, they say hoop, you know? Hoop! Hoop! You hear them. smoking it so much but using the, the capsules and stuff again maybe the medical yeah